All right, collective, here we go. Powerful energies at play. Powerful. This is an all signs reading. It's for everyone. If this title brought you in here, I promise you you're here for a reason. It's a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. But again, I don't know what the title is yet because I haven't done this reading, but I know the energies are powerful. I know in my pre-shuffle on one deck, I got the nine of swords. Okay, so somebody's, somebody's stressing. All right, and the energy I get right now is 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 really what's happening. We're we're having a lot of people, a lot of your soulmates are having tower moments right now. I saw it yesterday in a in a Cancer reading I did. I saw it yesterday in an Aries reading I did. There's big tower moments that are happening for your soulmate. There's a lot going on. All right, at the bottom of this deck pre-shuffle, by the way, is the world. Just so you know, uh, that's that's the most powerful card in the major arcana. It's one cycle ending, another cycle beginning. I think for a lot of you, your person is, again, your person is cutting something loose on their end. But they're having a tower moment about it. You know, it's sort of a, oh God, what do I do? I, again, I don't, I don't prejudge the reading. I'm just reading the general energy as it's coming in. But I felt compelled to do this reading today. I truly did. Oh, flipping out of the deck. Flip, oh my God. Flipping out of the deck is the three of swords reversed. Flew out of my deck as I'm shuffling here, as I'm doing the final shuffle. Three of swords reversed, paired with the nine of swords in the pre-shuffle and the bottom card that we're about to get. Let's see, I'll read those for you. The bottom card that we're about to get, the overall energy of this reading, <laughs> strength. There's that old Leo energy. <laughs> that, uh, oh my. Oh, my cancer people are paying attention. But Leo, I hope you're paying attention too. But it doesn't matter. This is for all signs. It doesn't matter if your person's a Leo or not. All of the soulmate energy is around what I'm calling the cancer Leo axis. And it doesn't matter if your person's a cancer or a Leo. It doesn't matter who they are. It doesn't matter if they even know a cancer or a Leo. It doesn't matter. These are the energy stamps of what's going on with the soulmate energies right now. It's very strange. A lot of other readers are picking it up. They really are. And, and getting a lot of it, it's a lot of different readings you need to see to get your accurate reading you know so you got to just go by the titles that that pull you in no matter what the sign is you really do everything in the soulmate universe right now is powerful it's about souls coming together it's the universe basically throwing its hand up in the air and saying you know what I'm done with this these people are coming together and what's happening here with the three of swords reversed the nine of swords and the pre shuffle and the strength card here is again Somebody wants a reversal. Somebody's feeling a lot of pain and regret. Okay, your soulmate on their side. And I know I'm pulling for a soulmate connection because that's the energy I attract. That's who I am. I'm the soulmate guy in my world. I'm the energy guy. That's what they call me. But <laughs> anyway, uh, three of swords reversed. Somebody wanting to pull those swords out of their heart. And they're trying to get the strength up to do it. Somebody wants to come towards you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It's very strong. All right. Right here's the energy around your connection, or your person, depends how the card falls. Right here's how they feel, how they feel about you. Hidden energies, which you don't know, or what you're about to find out from me, okay, because it's hidden. And right here is the final outcome. I'll clarify everything. I'll throw some universe cards over the top. And because I'm pulling from raw collective energy, as always, I will extend this. And we will pull into what we find out about this person who wants to pull these swords out of their heart and is trying to get the strength together and is nine of swords pacing their kitchen at 2 a.m. with a bottle of whiskey. All because of you, all right? The link for the extended is in the description, but right now we're gonna pull this reading. We'll find out what's going on here. This is a powerful, powerful start. I mean, we start this reading with the nine of swords, the three of swords reversed, and the strength card. Somebody's getting up the nerve to pull these swords out of their heart. What's the energy? You ready? Here we go. What's the energy around your connection right now? Yeah. Temperance. Look at that. That's the card of the angel to the gypsies. You got it's the opposite to the devil. It's the angel to the it's the angel to the devil. Temperance is a powerful major arcana card. And it's the energy of your connection right now. It is what I just said at the beginning of this reading. It's about the universe stepping in and saying, nope, these two are coming together. Okay, on most decks, this is Archangel Michael putting together, balancing the cups of love out. All right, right here, 
again, it, it pairs nicely with the strength card of your person trying to just get the strength to do it, but the universe is helping. These are two major arcanas here, all right? That's, this three of swords in reverse, yeah, it's going to happen. They're going to pull those swords out. I can't wait to clarify this. What's, what's the, uh, uh, how your person feels? What's going on in their emotions right now? Seven of Pentacles. Right now, again, with the Strength card and the Nine of Swords, okay, from, from the pre-shuffle. They're trying to get the strength together to come forward, trying to find some balance. The universe is helping. Right now, they're just sitting on their hands. This is a card of divine timing. They're just sitting on their hands. That's what they're doing. Why, waiting for the seed to, to pop up. The seed's been planted. They know they're in a lot of regret, a lot of pain. This thing flew out of the deck, wanted me to see it. I saw it in the shuffle, and then it just flipped out. And it flipped out reversed. That's pulling the swords out of the heart. It's all they want to do. Right now, I suspect... Again, with, in their emotions with the Seven of Pentacles, waiting for the seeds to grow. They're just trying to find the strength. That's why they're doing that. They're trying to get grow a pair. This is grow a pair upright. And that lion's holding the, one of the roses from the Two of Cups in this deck. Let me tell you. And, uh, the signs don't matter. It doesn't matter if your person's a Leo, a Cancer, an Aries, a Libra. It, 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 none of that matters. If this title pulled you in, this is for you. How's your person feel right now? There's some powerful energies. There's going to be a lot of energy updates. There's powerful energies happening. Four Pentacles is how they feel about you. Do not want to release you from this connection. They do not want to see you walk away. It's very clear. I'm reading the energy off this card. They do not want to let you out of this connection. Some of you might be trying to wiggle out of it. You know, just like, ah, you know what? This isn't working out. I'm not hearing from them. I want to move on. Yeah, you, I promise you, you move on. They'll be right behind you, dragging you back. They do not want to let you go. And this Three of Swords reversed is also usually somebody who knows they screwed up. And we've seen that a lot in recent energy updates. This person knows they screwed up. They know you're the catch, whoever you are, whatever sign you are. They know you're the catch. Right? It's powerful. Uh, powerful. What's the hidden energies? <laughs> Ten of Cups. Happily Ever After. Minor Arcana Sun card right here. Happiness is the hidden energy. Again, I say, I say it to a lot of signs when I do energy updates and when I do monthly readings, whatever. This is hidden energy. This person has kept this hidden from you, how happy you make them. What they show you, for some of you, is nothing. And for others of you, they just show you, you know, we're just friends, or we're just this, or we're just, just superficial BS. This is a week, as we saw in the weekly reading, and as we saw, as, as, as I've seen in the two energy updates I've done this week for Cancers and, and, and Aries, someone's put, taken off the mask. This is taken off the mask. This is more of that energy. The universe is pushing this. Uh, what's the final outcome here? The Emperor. This is a card of control, okay? That's what this. These two cards are read together. These two cards are read together. This is a standalone. When I read these cards together, again, I told you they're sitting around. They're sitting on their hands, watching right now. They're watching you. They're watching and waiting, trying to get the strength, trying to grow a pair, come forward. The emperor, male or female, is about control. It's about someone who's in control of things. I often call it the Burger King. Someone who has to have it their way, right? Their old Whopper campaign, get it your way, which you never get. Get, get it however they want to serve it. But that applies. That might be funny. It might be a joke that you order it with no pickle and no mayo and you get pickle and mayo and no tomato. Well, that, that's funny. All right, I'll give you that. But that's what... That's what's backfiring on this person. This is someone who is realizing that they can't have it their way. If they want you, collective person, they've got to compromise a little bit. Temperance is about compromise. And regardless, they don't want to let you go and they know there's a lot of happiness here. So they're willing to do anything right now, let go of control to pull these three swords out of their heart. There's a lot of regret. They know they've disappointed you. I get that from this card. 
uh, then they know uh, you're disappointed in them. They know it. And we're going to clarify. This is powerful. Now we're going to find out what's going on here. All right. Temperance. Why is temperance here? Let me shuffle the deck for temperance. This is the energies this week are just wicked, wicked powerful. I mean, it's unreal what's going on right now. Other re and again, I mention other readers. I say other readers are, are seeing it too, but that's just that's the mathematics of what this is all about. Tarot and all, even astrology. It's all mathematics. Energy is mathematics in motion. The odds of other readers getting, of, of another, any other reader getting the same type of reading I'm getting, the same type of message, are, are out of this world. Worse than getting a lottery ticket. Worse than winning the lottery. You know, it, it's amazing. So it, when that happens multiple times, you take note. And I'm telling you, I'm an energy reader from way back. And I've never seen soulmate energies like this. Right here, temperance, what's it here for? Five of Wands. Your person has a lot of inner conflict. Look at these two cards. That's why they're sitting. These two card energies match energetically. It's why they're sitting. It's why they're sitting here waiting. Uh, they got an inner conflict. That inner conflict is probably tied to the fact that getting it their way didn't work because they don't have you. All right. They need to compromise. This card of compromise. They're trying to figure it out, but it's tough for this person. I suspect your person's got a lot of pride, ego, probably stubborn. I, I, I feel that. Yeah, eight of, eight of Pentacles. That's someone who's working on themselves. They are doing the work. They are trying to figure it out. They're looking in the mirror and going, nah, this isn't right. Again, it's the energy I'm reading. I don't read cards. I read energy. The cards are pretty pictures for you so you don't have to stare at a blue velvet table. Okay? And with some guy talking and doing hand signals. All right? I, I know what I'm feeling here. This person feels nothing but happiness for you. They are not going to let you get away. They want to pull these three swords out and fix this. They know they got to fix themselves to do it. Because they can't have it their way. They can't be the emperor. That's not working. And they're really conflicted about it. But the universe is stepping in. That, that temperance card is powerful. That's anchoring the whole thing in your energy right now. It's really, really powerful. What's this seven of uh, pentacles about? Let's keep this going. What's this Seven of Pentacles about? I'm intrigued by, by this connection. This connection is strongest for the signs. I'm going to say the strongest for the signs of Aries, Taurus, Cancer, Leo, of course, because Cancer and Leo were like, are like jello and whipped cream uh, as far as ener energies are concerned. Libra, Pisces. Maybe a little pinch of Sagittarius in here, uh, Virgo, uh, Virgo for sure. The, that's the energies that this this is this reading is strongest for. Um, those are the people that are dealing with something like this. You know this person. If you're if this if this title drew you in, you know who I'm talking about. All right, especially my Cancer people. They definitely know who I'm talking about. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> this is yeah. <laughs> Cancers, you awake? There's your the tower. There you go. That's for everyone. Yeah, I, t I said, what did I say at the beginning of this reading? What did I say? I said, your person is in the middle of a tower. And sure enough, look what comes out in their emotions position. This is how they feel. This is in their emotions. Your person's having a tower. Yeah, they're, they're sitting on their hands and they're watching and figuring out a way to come in because the emperor method didn't work before because you bring them a lot of happiness and they don't want to let you go and they know they need to compromise. So they're having an inner conflict about it. But it's, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's keeping them up at night. That's why we got that nine of swords in the pre-shuffle. Tell you what, why is this tower here? Yeah, look at, look, look at the damn cards. Eight of swords. They're all up in their head. If you think this person isn't thinking about you, some of you ain't heard from this person. They, they, you haven't heard a damn thing. Crickets chirping. And you know what? That's even an overstatement because crickets make noise, don't they? No. You haven't heard a damn thing from th this person. They've been Silent Bob or Silent Jane for a lot of you. This is a card. Uh, this and the Nine of Swords are cards that it's not shared. It's internal. It's an internal prison of the mind. 
It, it, it really, it's rattling their world. They do not, I get this strong from this Four of Pentacles. They do not want to let you go. And they feel like you're slipping away a little bit. That's there too. Remember this Three of Swords reversed. That's why I left it out. They want to pull those swords out. Let me shuffle the deck. What's this Four of Pentacles about? Those of you that read energy, if you're watching my reading, you can feel this. You know what I'm talking about. It's here. You, you, you can see it coming off the table like, like uh, heat waves coming off the pavement on a hot day, right? You can see it. It's coming off of there. Look at these cards. If you don't read energy, just look at the damn cards. It's amazing. This tower landed in just the right spot. And I said it. I read the energy at the beginning as I was doing my first shuffle. I said, somebody, your person's all going through a tower right now. And the tower came out right there in their emotions. Four pentacles. Boom. Looking in the mirror. Justice. Karma. Karma coming their way. This is coming up a lot in my energy updates this week. This karma card. Justice. It's a card that used to be called karma in the decks. It is still in some decks. The energy coming off this is karma. For some of you, someone's cutting out someone. Someone is definitely, for a lot of you, in a third party, someone is leaving a third party. They're done with it. It's over. All right? They don't want to lose you. And they're not necessarily doing it for you. They're doing it because of you. There's a, there's a profound difference there. Okay? Uh, it's because of what your connection showed them, for sure. All right? This person didn't know what love was. Uh, I get the message from the universe, I want to feel that way again. Kind of a message. You know? Oh, this is crazy. I don't need those cards that some people pull of, you know, what do they want to say to you? And they pull it out and it says, I love you. Or it says that I read that from the energy. I don't need those cards. It's a waste of my $20 bill. Pick up a set of those. I'm telling you right now, they want to feel that way again. Right here. Uh, it, it, it's, it's karma. It, it's karma coming back on them. What's happening to them right now? Or what happened to you in the past, what they did to you in the past, or how you felt in the past, is what's happening to them right now. How they feel right now. Why is this justice here? And what I tell you, when I talk, the universe either backs me up or it throws egg in my face. Today, we are one in the same. Five of Pentacles, clarifying that karma, justice. Left themselves out in the cold. And they know it. They did it to themselves. It's karma. Coming back on them. They put themselves out in the cold. Five of Pentacles is always someone out, out in the cold. But the key is right there. They can go inside. But they don't do it. Because your person's stubborn. I feel that with this, these, these cards. A mirror in here. They're off, off of one another in the reading. Five of Wands. Five of Pentacles. Right opposite each other. This is stubborn. These, these two cards together are someone who's stubborn. Someone who's just, nope. i got to have it my way. The Emperor. And then what happened with trying to have it their way and being stubborn? They put themselves out in the cold. And now karma's a bitch. Karma's hitting them like a bitch. And they're all up in their head and they're, having, and they're living a tower right now. And they're doing some work on themselves. Try to find a compromise because they do not, these four pentacles, want to lose you. They want to pull these three swords out of their heart. The cards tell a story. I can read the energy, but the cards also help me sort the story out and show you pretty pictures. Cards are backing up what I read while I was shuffling at the beginning of this. All right, that's what I do. That's why you don't fast forward through the beginning of my video because I'm giving you the reading. The cards are just going back it up. That's all, and they do. You know what these cards mean. You all watch readings. I'm not making up any meanings here. They are what they are. They are what they are. Shuffle the deck for the Ten of Cups. It's a beautiful connection. The universe is working. I know. I feel it in the collective energy. The universe is working hard to bring soulmates together. Summertime, for those of you in the northern hemisphere, is going to be a whole different world. For those of you in the southern hemisphere, I know i got a big Australian following. It's wintertime. It's going to be a whole different world for you. It really is. Ten of Cups. Yeah, they're watching you. That's what you don't know. Hidden energies. Hidden energies. You don't know how much happiness you bring them. Because <laughs> hell if they told you. Right here. Page of Swords. Hell if we can have a May reading without this coming out. Any energy update. Any May reading. It's here. Page, is, page of Damn Swords, I'm calling it. Page of Damn Swords Upright. Yeah, they're keeping an eye on you. What you don't know is they're, they're reading your social media. They're reading whatever. They're spying on you. It, it, it's there. 
Uh, put your strategic messages out on social media because I promise you they'll see it. Might only be on the weekends if they're busy or something like that. I don't know. I get that for some of you. But they are they're following along. We'll, we'll phrase it like that. That's, what the, that's how the universe wanted me to phrase it. They're following along. So maybe you've got some kind of storyline going and you're talking about it online. They're following along. Because you're awesome. Nine of Pentacles. I ask why. Why are they spying? Why do you make them so happy? This is the why position. This is the why of it all. Nine of Pentacles. This is remarkably, a remarkably Cancer Leo axis reading. But I tell you what, I feel, I feel Aries, Virgo, Taurus, Pisces, Libra real strong here too. I know I'm, I'm clicking with a whole bunch of you with this reading. I know it's resonating with a whole bunch of you. I hope I got the title right to bring you in because this is an important reading. I might even put important reading in it again. I, I, I don't know what to do because I'm trying to get people's attention. I want people who, you know, to read the damn title and see if it resonates with you because this is important. This person sees you, and a lot of you don't know this, that this you, you are awesome to this person. You are like the pinnacle of everything. You, you tick all the boxes. You've you're got your shit together. And then they know, and there's a fear here in between these two cards that you don't need them. That you'd be fine. You'd move on. Someone else is, there's a fear that someone else is going to snatch you up. I tell you, even if you were just being strategic and you put some sort of indication that someone else was interested in you or what, they may even read something wrong. You may just be talking to a friend of the opposite sex and they may read it wrong. That'll bring them charging towards you. I'll bring them, I'll drive these three swords in more and bring them charging towards you. It really will. I feel that in the energy. I feel this person just needs a little push. I mean, just just a little one. What's this emperor here? This is a powerful read. This is, for, for my first reading of the day, whew, man, I'm getting me a warm up here. Let me tell you, emperor, wow, this is wicked. Here we go. Wheel of Fortune. Two major arcana cards and the last card out is the eight of wands communication yeah this person will communicate with you this person right now is basically in the state with this tower and this eight of swords i'm gonna tell you how it is in this tower and this eight of swords this person is i don't have the energy to deal with this right now that's where they're at i don't have the energy to deal with this i don't want to look at this but these cards are tied to these cards these cards read with these cards these read together and this is a standalone but I want to talk to you. So it's going to go in a matter with this tower, in a matter of a snap of a finger. It's going to go from, I don't have the energy to deal with this right now. I don't want to look at this. I don't want to look at this. Oh my God, I need to talk to you. We need to talk. It's going to go straight into that. And you're not even going to see it coming. Look at the lightning. Lightning, lightning. You got lightning as far as the eye can see here. All right. This is uh, Eight of Wands. It's a card of communication. It's the card of communication in the tarot deck. It is Minor Arcana. It is bound to their free will. And your person's free will has been a little questionable up to this point. But it's clarifying the Wheel of Fortune and the Emperor, which are two major Arcana cards. The Emperor is them realizing that having it their way isn't going to cut it. And they're just going to be left out in the cold. We've covered that. But the Wheel of Fortune is about destiny. You can't... The, the Wheel of Fortune trumps whatever free will runs the Eight of Wands. This is almost a guarantee. And there are no guarantees in life, but Wheel of Fortune off of the Eight of Wands here is, a, is almost a guarantee that they will be compelled to reach out. Couple that with temperance here in the main energy of the reading. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to deal with this as bullshit. Okay? Five of Wands, bullshit. Eight of Swords, bullshit. All right? You, you, got the, you can walk right out of that. Just like with the Five of Pentacles, you can walk right in and most decks into a church. The key's right there by the door. This tower moment, I don't want to deal with it, I don't want to deal with it, is all bullshit. Doesn't matter. This tower leads to a wheel of fortune, which is destiny, the wheel turning in your favor, and communication. The flow is like this. The flow of the energy. Let me pull some universe cards. Let me pull some universe cards. Let's see what uh, does anything else the universe wants to tell the collective about this connection. This is beautiful connection. 
I know it's frustrating to you. I know a lot of you are suffering because of this connection. I feel that in your energy. Your energy is right here. It's right with me. I'm reading the incoming. I'm reading about your person. I, I don't do readings about you, the person I'm reading for. You know what's going on with you. You don't need me to call you out on anything. You know. I don't want to waste my time with that. I read the incoming energies because that's what you want to know. That's why you're here. All right. You don't need me to tell you about you. I may give you advice, but that's about it. Seven of Cups, clarified by the Two of Wands. Your person, again, just trying to figure it out. They don't know what to do. There's something on their end that's jamming them up a little bit with this Seven of Cups. They got something else that's distracting them, which is part of what's causing that tower there. But uh, the Two of Wands is a card off of this card that tells me that they need to let go of something. They need to let go of something. Usually on decks, it's one person letting go of one wand and grabbing on to another. They need to do that. That's part of what this justice card is about. That's part of the karma that's playing out here. Destiny is playing out. And look who came back. Five, six shuffles. One, two, three, four, five, six shuffles later. Leo, strength from the bottom of the deck, came right back up. With, the, with that rose in his mouth, his or her mouth, from the Two of Cups. It's clarified, trying to get the strength to bring a new beginning here. The universe wanted to remind us this person's trying to grow a pair. They're nervous about this. They're very nervous because you're the Nine of Pentacles. You're spectacular. And they think you might be a little out of their league, but it don't matter. This Eight of Wands is being driven by the Wheel of Fortune. These two cards together, like I said, it's almost guaranteed they'll get the strength for this passionate new beginning, this Ace of Wands. This Ace of Wands has been coming up a lot in the May readings, by the way. All May readings. Right, right here, all this bullshit, this Eight of Swords, is bull. All right, is bull. In the extended reading, I'm going to pull about four or five readings in the extended reading. I'm taking my extended readings to new levels. I am. I, I, there's going to be about four or five readings in there. All right. I want to know about this temperance card. I want to know about this bullshit, this eight of swords. What's blocking this right now? Something's blocking this. All right. It needs to be lifted. Uh, I also want to know about this communication. I want to know what actions they're going to take towards you. And I might, I might pull some, and I'll also, I'm not might, I'm, I will pull some advice for you um, on what actions you can take toward them. Uh, that being said, link for the extended is in the description if you want it it's there for you i suggest because this person's coming in and i don't usually suggest my my extended readings but you might want all the information you can get right now because this is all happening in may i'm not getting anything past i'm not getting any long range oh this is october kind of thing no i'm getting a very close proximity with this energy it's on top of me it isn't over here it's like on me so, this is all happening in the now. So, if you want the extended reading, the link is in the description. It's there for you. Get all the information you can so you know what to expect. Because this person with the, with the Eight of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune, they're coming. All right? They are, uh, I don't think, I don't think they can, I, in fact, I don't think, I don't, there's no way in hell uh, they can beat this. This is destiny. This, this is all playing out the way it's supposed to. And I think they know it with this very interesting. I think they know it with this Seven of Pentacles here in, in, at, at the root of their feelings. It's a card of divine timing. It's a card of destiny in a lot of ways. When you plant a seed, it's destiny. It's destined to grow, you know, kind of a thing. So, Anyway, that's what we got. Link for the extended is in the description if you want it. It's there for you. If you like this reading, I hope this reading was helpful to you. If you, if you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate all you subscribers very much. And uh, good luck to you with this. This is spectacular. I couldn't have asked for a better reading.